And hey folks, Moosh on the Rod here, coming at you with this week's beer review. Now a little while back we did a bit of a comparison with the uh, Not Your Father's Hard Root Beer in the Coney Island. There's a couple of new players yep. on the field. we got Best Damn Root Beer and Jed's Hard Root Beer. Jed's otherwise known as that other hard lemonade you get when they're out of mics. Uh, I haven't seen Jed's Hard Lemonade in a long time, but it used to be a thing, believe it or not. So, uh, you know, back to familiar territory. Let's see what we think of these guys. Hit us up down below with a like and a share. And if you subscribe, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Looking at getting a couple of other uh, exciting things going in the future. Hopefully. Let's, exactly. Let's start popping these guys open. We're going to start with Not Your Father's, which is the one that kind of started this whole thing, as far as I can tell. At least around here. As far here. as for hard root beer, yeah, yeah. around here. I mean, there's been some others on the market. I don't know if they've been around longer or a shorter period of time than Not Your Father's, but this is the first one we saw in the great state of Maine. So, we'll give it a try. Play. Again. <laughs> Hasn't changed much. Nope. Still about the same. Still got a good bite to it. Yep. It's gotten some sweetness, that root beer taste. Um, still really liking it. As far as I know, it's actually the only one classified as an ale. Nope. Uh, take it back. Best damn root beer is actually classified as an ale aged on vanilla beans with natural flavors and caramel color. Whereas the Coney Island... And the Jeds are both classified as a hard soda, meaning it wasn't brewed as a beer originally. It's just a, a hard soda. So. Made in Saranac. Mm. Thanks for mentioning that one. Yes, Jeds is a subsidiary of Saranac. So, old and familiar. That's good. I think I've. It's I've, been. Oh, go ahead. It's been very good. Yeah. This one kind of tastes a little flat, but I don't know if it's just. That's that's the way it usually is sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Especially with different actual sodas. I mean, you feel that. You see that, too. But it's exactly. still very good. Absolutely. So I think I'm going to stick. I, I think I had this at a four and a five before. I'm going to stick with the four on that. Um, let's go ahead and get some water. I'm going to cleanse the palate a little bit here. That better be water. It is. I checked it. So you filled it from the vodka bottle yourself, right? I refilled it. Boosh. Bottoms up. Yeah. <laughs> sure. The Russian word for water is vodka, guys. It's vodka. It. Read a book. All right. <laughs> you didn't get that. I, I didn't get you that time. No. <sighs> These are still sealed, so you know there's no funny business. <coughs> it was worth a try. The thing is, I would have drank it, but I got to go to work after this. Uh, I hear you. <laughs> Next time. Get a little more. I still got a bit of an aftertaste. All right. So let's go to the Coney Island. <laughs> Now, this one is actually Coney Island Brewing. A lot of people say it's its own separate brewery, but it is a label that Boston Beer Company uses for several products. So, it, in the sense that it's its own label, just like Shock Top is its own label, but Anheuser-Busch still owns it. Right. So, Coney Island. Sweeter. Yep. More vanilla. Yep. A um, little more effervescent than uh, not your father's. Yep. At least these bottles are. And uh, that vanilla taste, it, it, as before, I, I think it's more of a cream soda taste than a root beer taste, but I've the heard a couple was, of different They use real good it. vanilla, though. They use real vanilla. Yeah. But that's probably not. Could be. So, um, I'm pretty sure I'm consistent with this one. I'm going to keep it at a three and a half out of five. It is a, a different and unique taste. That's not bad. It's above average, but it's just not quite 
but I don't find it as pleasing as the Not Your Father's because I like right. my root beer with a little bit of a, a little bit of a bite to it. So, um, not bad. A four and a three and a half. And you'd like a homemade root beer. Mm-hmm. Which is actually what Not Your Father's really tastes more like is, our, is the way we used to make it. Well, at some point, if you can get the bottles to stop exploding, you'll have to bring some over. Yeah, we haven't made any for a while. Oh, well, that explains it. We can't find the extra. Oh. Uh, beer extracts. I bet there's a couple of places online you can order it from. Probably. All right. Best damn root beer. So, I'll be the judge of that. A lot more of a beer flavor to that one. Yes. It probably didn't really add too much uh, sugar to it. Hmm. I do appreciate the fact that it is a beer first. Yep. And it they is just more of a beer. Aged it over some some different ingredients to give it more of the uh, more of the root beer flavor. Um, in that sense, I, I kind of have a little bit more respect for him, this being closer to an actual beer. Because even the Not Your Father's, even though it is classified as an ale, it, it just has a very, very slight hint of that root beer taste. Right. This is actually bringing together the um, the combination of the beer and the root beer. I'm, I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, it's not bad. I'd give it about a four. I think I'm going with a four as well. Because I really like it, but it's not quite beating out the Not Your Father's for the overall taste. What's actually bumping it up to a four rather than a three and a half for me is, is that fact that I'm tasting the beer and the root beer tastes, and they're really blending together really well. Um, I, I think this one's a hit. Yep. It's a big hit That's actually me. really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you got there? What's that say for alcohol? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Um, five point five. The uh, Not Your Father's comes in at five point nine percent. The Coney Island, I believe, was a five point eight, and Best Dam is a five point five. So it's a little lighter in the alcohol content than the others. Let's take a look at the Jeds. It's still not bad. Yeah, Jed's is 5.9. Now, it says here that it's it's actually flavored ale on this as well, but if I remember correctly, um, in doing some research, it's not actually classified as a beer. It's it's a hard soda, pardon me. Yeah. So, we got one more left to go. That's got some fizz to it. Popped pretty good. Totally missed the cap that time. You didn't though. Oh, catch. All right, last one. Bottoms up. It's very sweet, almost syrupy. Yep. Kind of flat, but it's definitely got that root beer taste to it. Not bad. No, I'm putting this at a three and a half out of five. Right around there with the Coney. Ooh, that's interesting. What's that? Aftertaste? Mm hmm. And you're getting that coming up through like that your nose? A little bit, yeah. I can't classify it. It's almost like a, a smoky yep. aftertaste. That's interesting. That, that's very interesting. It's um, it's not unpleasant. It's 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 different, but what it reminds me of, um, you know, back when you had a regular job when there were much people around, uh, you ever have anybody come in off a break after smoking a big fat joint? Yep. You smell it on them. Yep. That's the aftertaste that's coming up through as it comes up through my nose. It reminds me of the smell of weed. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it's really weird. Um, it does have that, have that taste. Yeah. Unless you're high as a kite right now, I'm just smelling you. No, I'm not. I don't think so. No, we don't do that. Mm -hmm. We don't do that wacky tobacco. No, not for a long time, anyway. Um, 
so yeah, that again, a three and a half out of five. These guys are, are coming in pretty close to each other. Uh, it, I think it just really comes down to personal tastes and what you prefer. But um, the Not Your Father's definitely has more of a bite. Yeah. The Coney Island is a sweeter, more vanilla cream soda ish. The Best Dam. It's got a really nice combination of beer and root beer flavors. And the um, the Jed's is uh, syrupy, sweet, and root beer. Yeah. But with that weird fucking pot aftertaste. I don't know where that's coming from, but it's um, it's not unpleasant. So uh, a couple of fours and a couple of three and a halves. It's about right for me. Yeah. I um, think I actually, I did not your father's. I think I give that a five. Back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> so, Coney Island for me is about a three and a half to four. And the other two was uh, the other two as well. Yeah, about three and a half or four. Yeah. Okay. But they have their, they had they do have their distinct flavor, mm -hmm. separating them. So now that you mention it, I think I did hit the uh, not your father's with a five, and maybe the Coney Island with a four back in the day. I think the the whole hard root beer thing has kind of started to get get old hat now, and it's it's not yeah. impressing me like it used to. Yeah. So um, that's another thing, folks. Your your ratings and your opinions will change over time as your tastes change and. Uh, I mean, this isn't quite as unique an experience as it used to be, so there's some room there for uh, for change. But well, anyway, and a lot of the other, a lot of these people are actually doing hard sodas too. Exactly. Not just root beer. Exactly. We'll be checking some of those out come uh, coming down the road here. Uh, we've got Sometime. a couple of orange sodas to compare. And the others, I think, are one-offs where there aren't uh, more than one of, of whatever flavor is out there. But uh, we'll definitely be looking at them. So, um, any other thoughts? Nope. Nope. All right. Well, he's, he's really not that bad, actually. No. Definitely check him out. Form your own opinion. Hit me up. Hit us up down in the comments or the email link down below. Let us know if you agree, disagree, what you think. Till next time, folks. Cheers. Keep drinking. <laughs>